Welcome to Transoya Kitale. This is our farm. It's called Neo Poultry Kitale. A very small space, but many chickens. Don't worry about space, because any space, even if, at, even if it is small, you can rear a lot of chickens. This is our incubator. This is the capacity of 2112 capacity. This is where we keep our eggs for incubation. After here, then we put them to our brooder. This is a structure which I studied with. This is where I keep the free rangers and also this is the stock of rainbow rosters. There are some customers who need rainbow rosters chicks. So this is the space I have, have kept the rainbow rosters. The third layer, we have kept guinea falls for beautification of this farm. Okay guys, this is a small space, maybe roughly two meters by two meters. But over here, we have a lot of chicks over 500 chickens, we rear them from this small space. This poultry business, I started the way back in 2018. And I started with rearing 50 chickens. I, I took them from a company in Eldoret, which I raised that chicks from day old up to maturity. So when I sold the first stock, I kept on increasing. And this for the first year, I, I managed 100 chickens. The second year, I added up to 150. Then on that year, I bought an, an incubator. That was the capacity of 800 and data. So after that one year, I've been pushing the, with that one year. Then last year, I added another incubator. That is two thousand capacity of 2,112. So up to now, I have two incubators, one of 212 and the other one of 800 and data. So I have specified specifically on, on selling chicks because when you compare the profit of selling chicks and selling the mature hens chicks are more profitable than selling the mature hens my biggest challenge it has been feeding the, these chickens the feeds are more expensive even if that's why I decided when, feed, when I, I sell that mature hens the profit is very low but when I sell the chicks I have a higher profit that's why I decided, even if the feeds are high, let me switch off and switch to another venture that is selling the day old chicks. There are challenges and also there are profits in this business. So when you are starting this business, have that, have that knowledge and be ready for anything. In poultry that I have explained for you, from the beginning, from an egg to a chick, to a mature hen, all of that is a profit. Also, even if you are going to rear these hens, that uh, manure, also you can sell the manure. Or with the manure per bag, we sell at 200, chicks, 200 shillings. So in poultry business as a general, everything about poultry is, is profit. You, can't, you, can, you cannot go without any profit in poultry business. What I urge you, you just persevere in anything you are going to do. Persevere in, all, in this business. And at, at the end of the day, there's a profit you are going to gain. There's something called inbreeding. When you are raising these chicks, avoid inbreeding. Because in this business, you, you don't target just selling today. But you target selling tomorrow and the, the day after tomorrow. So when you are raising these chicks, avoid inbreeding. I've, I decided I will buy chicks from one company, maybe that is Rainbow Rosters. I then buy another one from maybe Sasso, then I breed them. So when my chicks come, there is no inbreeding in them. So when I sell you a chick, they're very, they are very strong and you can't find that inbreeding and you, when you buy them, there's no mortality. Mortality rate is very low. So even if you ask my customer that they have, I've, been buy, I've been selling them that day old chicks, they come back and say, hey, your breed are very strong. But the secret is I just avoid breeding in my chicks.